YouTube, what is going on? This is Gino Bonino, and I have been away. I have been in Wisconsin getting my collection. That was my main goal. And um, just been overwhelmed a little bit with getting caught up. Um, those of you that have houses probably know when you leave, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. The uh, I think we had a lightning strike, and we had a modem and a router that were down. We had a dishwasher that got the electronics fried and all that. So, again, not a big deal. You know, just those things that go on. Grass is long. Nonsense. But anyway, not complaining, just explaining. Um, so, I want to give a quick... Um, I'm going to put a couple images, uh, hopefully, in this video, right about here, as far as... Um, what I had, I basically took a um, minivan to Wisconsin and um, went to visit my family that still live there. And um, to make a long story short, I wanted to get my entire collection back if I could. I didn't know exactly what I had, but it ended up my problem wasn't so much space as much as it was weight. Um, comic collections are pretty hefty, and my minivan said that it's uh it's a pretty heavy duty minivan it's made for hauling boats and stuff like that but anyway make a long story short it's uh it was weighted for or rated for i think about 1300 pounds and i think i had it closer to about 1500 and the road between here and where i was going was filled with mountains uh the appalachian and the smokies and uh, some of it got a little bit hairy going up and over the mountains and then coming down the hill um, at about a four or five percent grade with uh, overweight and then fighting trucks and rain and stuff. It just was, I'm glad it's over. Let's put it that way. But uh, anyway, just a real quick, what I'll do right now is I want to make a quick video, show you what I picked up and what I brought with. And then I'll go into some detail um, in a couple videos down the road. First of all, this was my collection. Um, that I had here, the stuff in the red and white boxes. Um, so what do I have here? About four, eight, two, 16, 20, 20 boxes of normal books, um, things that I've picked up at the comic store and conventions and stuff like that, and two boxes of graded stuff, and then uh, actually two and a half. I've got this thing full as well. Um, and then what happened is when I picked up my books, I wanted to get them out of the van because, again, the van kind of looked like I was low riding. Um, the top was uh, weighed down less than the back. So, again, I was kind of looking like, uh, again, like I was a low rider. So I will explain sort of what I have, what I was in. This is the stuff that I brought with me. Um, I have long boxes, which I call, uh, these are duplicates of keys. Um, basically stuff that I've identified as possibly um, worth money down the road or stuff that, um, you know, um, I've got like, I don't know, six, seven copies of, you know, uh, New Mutants 100, I've got uh, a bunch of Doomsday stuff, Justice League, things of that nature. These are things that, again, I have duplicates of. So um, I stuck the duplicates in this book, um, Ray 3 or Ray 3 or 4 and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I've got four boxes, full boxes, long boxes of uh, keys. Um, and then I have two boxes of um, action figures. Um, this one I think is pretty valuable, actually. This is a Venom... Um, from KB Toys, which is no longer in business, and it had the squirter thing in back. I don't quite get that. Um, I didn't realize that. Um, well, I guess he could squirt stuff out of his chest, it looks like. That's kind of weird. Um, and then I have this one, which I think is pretty valuable as well. This is um, Carnage Unleashed. Um, it's got the head, so you can see um, Cletus Casty underneath. And then I've got a bunch of Spawn action figures i bought all of those i think and then i bought <laughs> thought this would pan out it does as far as now it hasn't but uh, wildcat figures and uh two generation x stuff so we'll see about that again i don't know where these sit um these were i mean you know what these are doing i don't think they're doing very well 
Um, but that's not a big deal. I still like them. Um, action figures are one of those things you can kind of um, put up on the wall and stuff like that. And they're kind of cool. So I've got that box full. And then let's see down here. Same thing. I've got uh, Gen X Spawn stuff. And um, of course, you can't live life without my Kiss action figures too. So uh, there you go. So we'll pull those out and see what's up with those. But I did have room for them, and they didn't weigh very much, so I figured I might as well take them. Then I also had some cards. <laughs> Once again. Uh, Valiant um, trading cards um, they were real big at one time and Plasm from uh, Jim Shooter um, cards as well I have the, also a few odds and ends I've got let's see what this thing is all about uh, this was a wizard um, let's see here what was this Superman tribute and he died by uh, Doomsday. Again, typical 90s stuff. And I've got a Plasm tour book, which is still wrapped up in plastic. I never did open that. Um, once again, Plasm was going to be kind of the new next big thing when Shooter left and went, he kind of went on his own and did his own thing. And that was the um, scoop for that. Then these are what I called um, duplicate regular books basically stuff that's not um, at least at the time when I separated didn't identify as keys by any means but uh, some stuff has bubbled up since I've put it in here so again I've got things like uh, let's see here a lot of valiant stuff uh, ghost riders uh, uh, let's see bunch of the harbinger um, trade paperbacks uh, dark hawk <laughs> bunch of with venom on here i know some again some of this stuff is actually done uh, you know is done okay uh, but again at the point when i put it in here it wasn't it wasn't uh, you know it was dollar book powder so i've got four boxes of that stuff here and then three here um, same thing these are basic and like like I said in the next few videos I will open this stuff up and kind of show you what's in here then in the other room this is my basically my single book collection that I had um, in the back of the van as well and what this is is single issues um, A through Z so um, let's see how many boxes, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 boxes here, um, short boxes, and these would be things, again, in uh, alphabetical order that I just had either one of or um, uh, it was um, things that... Um, like if, if, if I had, say, five or six issues of something, I would put one issue here so it would stay in the continuity and then stick the rest of them um, in, the, um, in the back, uh, you know, in the dupe boxes. Anyway, I've got uh, one box. It looks like the, let's see what's here in here. I'm, trust me, I'm, I'm doing this in real time along with you guys, too. Uh, these are trade paperbacks. Damn it. Come on now. Okay. Uh, give me Liberty, Frank Miller. Uh, let's see, do we have anything good here, man? Okay, no, not really. This is mostly. Um, I think what happened is I bought a collection and the guy was way into trade paperbacks. I never really got too much into it, although it's a good way to catch up on stories and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that's what that is. And that's it. So once again, I will show some of these things, um, what I have dupes of. I've got some pretty decent books, you know, 10, 20 copies of. Uh, the reason being, 
I used to work conventions, as I mentioned, and that's how business was done. Basically, you'd get a table, and your table was normally the week's hot books, you know, things you'd have, like, would be, for example, a few weeks back, you'd have, like, uh, Venom 3, you'd have a stack, and you'd probably be selling them for, like, 10 bucks, 5, 10 bucks back then, and people would come to your table, they'd kind of get, um, this was before eBay, of course, so people didn't buy that way. The people bought from your tables. So what you do is you'd have two people working. One would work the back table or the back board. And one would work the front table. And that's where you would have a stack. And people would come and you would try to be the only one that you'd try to beat everybody's price by a dollar. So people that were shopping around for Venom 3 would come and see you had a stack of them and would buy one or two or three or whatever. And then uh, if somebody wanted a key book and back or you'd have your box is set up with uh, back issues and stuff like that as well but um, you'd sell both modern and back stuff and that's how I ended up with stacks of comics because that's how you would sell them um, you would buy you know probably 50 or 100 copies and if you kind of thought it was just going to be a hot book you would um, sell it for five or ten dollars and get your money back plus a little more and in some instances either I didn't work a con a certain month or um, the book didn't do well and you were stuck with them so you put them in your bins and that's what was in those long boxes so that's it guys once again it's good to be home um, getting caught up a little bit again my house is overwrought with comic books but I guess that's a good problem to have and I will be posting future stuff with uh, what's in the books and what's in the boxes and all that I also have to go to this comic store and pick up my um, hold books that uh, I you know I, I where I went there's no comic stores so I'm way behind um, starting from about Fantastic Four on to today so um, I'm sure I missed out on a few things but again that's that's okay I can live with that um, so that's it guys once again it's good to be back um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. This is Benino and I am out. Bye-bye for now.